Hello, and today we are talking about our Now Assist Readiness Evaluation, which launched October 16th. Now, to navigate to this, you will want to go to your menus, workspaces, and find the Now Assist Readiness Evaluation. From here, you see our initial dashboard. This is, at a glance, how ready your instance is for the Agentic AI. Here you are assessing the Agentic AI for CSM as well as for ITSM. And our various reports show us how many issues were found, the estimated days of effort in eight hour workdays for a developer. You've got what those issues are categorized by type for configuration issue, data issue, or other. And you can see the trends of those issues, the estimated effort as they're categorized, and the estimated effort in trends. Now, we also want to take a look at if you were implementing Now Assist. This is the alternate tab on this dashboard. And with here, we see how many days effort. Big numbers are not necessarily bad because this is collecting all of the different Now Assist options and the different types of of issues to be found. We found a total of eight issues. And looking at those, we can see which one they're categorized as and whether they're configuration or data. We can also take a look at how they're categorized by issue versus effort and the estimated trend for issue versus effort as well. Now, this is a great surface level dashboard, but let's dive into the Go no go, which we get to by clicking home from this workspace. Now, looking at the agenda, types of issues are either data or configuration and where they are. Now, if you go to the other tab on this page, you see the same information for now assist as opposed to agentic. Once again, you're seeing it broken down by data, configuration or product issue with a simple go or no-go status, and no-go would be yellow as opposed to green. Let's dive into one of these reports. Let's take a look at our Now Assist assessments. For our summary, we've got our overall findings, which patch we're on, as well as the issues at a glance or the assessments at a glance. Now, before we look at those, I do want to point out you have the option to download a report as a PDF, which then could be shared or stored for your records. Looking in here, we've got the AI search has two red X's and seven green check marks. Now, green check marks means an assessment or run, no issues were found. Red check marks indicate an issue was found that you definitely want to examine before you go live. Now, looking at virtual agent, once again, you see green check marks, assessments were run, everything went good. And here we have a yellow triangle. The yellow warning signal says there is an issue that you want to investigate, but it's probably not a blocker. So it's less severe than that red X. And you can go through each of the different modules, AI search, virtual agent, ITSM, CSM, or HRSD, and see that once again, glance view of what those issues are. Now let's dive into one of those searches. I'm going to start with AI search. Now we open up that second tab, the search details for AI search, and we can see where those green check marks are. We can see where those issues are. The first one, the first red X, is that the latest version for AI search is 13.0.4 whereas the current version is 11.0.14, and it's simply recommending update to the current version. Otherwise, we've green checks all the way down. Now, if we look at for virtual agent, letting that load up, you can once again see we've got a lot of green check marks going through, how many are conversational, how many catalogs are available. Now, we see these common conversational stoppers. Here is our first warning signal. And with this, we're looking at the items that would not work for virtual agent and that would require some lift to adjust, but also you have a lot of good data here where it would work. 
And you can see there's some multi-row variable sets, some client scripts, custom questions, or unsupported question types to look into. Going through, you also see there's some opportunities to convert some of the top 10 catalog items to be conversational. And if you click on the link next to those, it takes you to that particular item where you can make those adjustments as needed. Going into our next tab, you see that same breakdown for each of the different modules for Now Assist. Same indications of green check marks, yellow warning signals, and red errors. And we go through all of the different options. Now, when we look at our next tab, this is the same type of reporting for our Agentic AI, where we see we have some red X's for Agentic AI for ITSM as well as CSM. So let's take a look at those. For ITSM, we're going to select a use case of incidents. Going through here, mostly green checks. We've got a custom trigger for the workflow. This is a case where you'd want to take a look at what those triggers are, and you've got that link right here embedded in the report. And once again, if you click that link, it takes you to what those issues are so you can examine them. We can also look at our other option for change request plans. Going through, it looks like there are some custom ACLs that might be a concern based on this red check mark, and you go there. Once again, you see what those issues might be. So essentially, each one of these reports gives you that at-a-glance information to inform you prior to implementation what your concerns are. I generally recommend go through looking for the green check marks as positive and your red X's or yellow warning signs as opportunities to look at and dive into what may slow down your implementation. And going back to our go, no go, this gives you that overall assessment. The purpose of the Now Assist Readiness Evaluation is really just to give you that at a glance, top level, prior to implementation, where should we be looking, what should we be taking action on, so that we can have the most efficient and effective deployment of Now Assist.